Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I have yet another video for you guys today. Today I am going to be doing something again, not fitness related, but a little bit more mommy and baby related. So I am doing a pregnancy must-haves video. Now I decided to do this video because of course when I got pregnant I like searched YouTube and Google for all the new top baby products that people were recommended and what recommending and whatnot because it's been four years since I've had a baby so things have changed there are new brands there are new things to help your pregnancy just go along so much more smoother and I have to say that because of these type of videos my, this pregnancy has been a lot more smooth so I thought why not share with you some products that I like to use during this pregnancy and how they've helped me out so just before we get into the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video like this or a fitness video or a curly hair video you can't tell but it's all up in a bun but if you like fitness curly hair food natural stuff then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you'll never miss another video like this again so let's just get straight into the video so I can show you all of my pregnancy must-haves all right, so let's just get into this video so I can show you all of my top pregnancy must-haves. Now, all the products I'm gonna show you are things that I've used from the beginning of my pregnancy all the way up to nine months, 37, going 38 weeks on pregnant. So this is what I will be going off of and I will just, again, I'm no doctor. All the products I recommend, I hope that you go and talk to your doctor about. This is just things and products that have worked with me, worked for me to help my pregnancy go a lot more smooth. Let's start with clothes, all right? So first off, you know, being pregnant, your belly's growing, everything is growing. So when I first got pregnant with my first son, I didn't really buy any maternity clothes at all because I was medical assistant at the time, so I could just wear like huge baggy scrubs and be good. But the fact that I was a fitness instructor and a dance teacher and a mom that has run around chasing a toddler, I had to do things a little bit differently this time. So as far as it, when it came to my work and working out in the gym and being a dance teacher, I needed something that would basically fit for me. So all my clothes were basically way too small. Like I was not one of those pregnant people that were able to wear the pregnancy clothes up to like five months. Like I swear the day I found out I was pregnant, the next day nothing fit. Thanks. <laughs> a lot of my fitness clothes and sports bras, I just basically sized up. So I didn't really look pregnant or have like a big bump until I was about six months pregnant. So I was able to kind of wear some of my clothes, um, some of my workout clothes and whatnot. But basically all I did was size up in my clothing because I did not want to have to buy maternity clothes and then end up giving them away or just wasting money on clothes. You know what I mean? So if you're pregnant, I would just recommend, you know, trying to fit into your clothes as long as you can. And if you can't, then size up with your normal clothes. So I did actually purchase a couple maternity things because as my belly did grow, and like I said, a lot of my clothes did not fit like jeans. I was not able to fit in any of my jeans at all the day I found out I was pregnant. So I basically did like the rubber band trick where you just kind of like take a hair tie and loop it through one and then you just loop it onto the button like you can Google that. But I did that for a long time until I seriously like could not pull the jeans up over my butt. So, But as far as everything else, the maternity clothes, I will show you right now. So one of them I highly recommend getting is maternity leggings. They are super comfortable. And as you can see, they have like a line here. And then that's basically to support your bump. And then it kind of goes in the back. And then there's another line, which it just kind of goes, supports your butt, I guess. So basically, I like these maternity leggings because, I mean, I live in Washington, so who doesn't love leggings? But the fact that I could like pull them up over my belly and not have those super tight leggings that are cutting down in the bottom of my stomach, was awesome so I basically lived in these leggings and I also did buy a couple other pairs which I'm basically growing out of because I ordered I got a small in those because maternity clothes if you don't know are really hard to decide what you can wear I feel like with leggings I'm a small to a medium and with jeans I should be like small like maternity jeans I hate them I have never found a really nice flattering maternity jean it just doesn't work for me so another thing that I lived in were sports bras. Whoop. So 
I basically hated wearing bras, like I still do, with underwire because it just cuts in underneath and then they're like, it's just poking at my belly and it's just really uncomfortable, especially if you don't have like really good posture or if you're just driving, it just bugs me. So the fact that I was a fitness instructor, I had a lot of sports bras hanging around. Um, some of my favorites were actually the Gymshark sports bras. Hey Gymshark. So just because they were super stretchy and they were cute and they were just awesome. So I did live in sports bras. You could also use nursing bras. I actually have a couple of them, but I'm just trying to save them for nursing. Since I had so many sports bras, I didn't really need to buy other bras. As far as like bras, like if you're going out and whatnot and you're not wanting to really like, I guess wear a sports bra. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I wore my sports bras out or bralettes. Um, those were really comfortable as well. So another thing that I lived in not really lived in, but I would recommend getting because you know it's gonna you're gonna spend money if you're just going to buy maternity clothes so that you can fit in them. So I just tried to use as much, many clothes as I could. So that's why I have dresses. So I have this maxi dress that I actually have had since like before my son was born. So that'd be four or five years ago. So basically, if you can and it's summertime where you are or just warm, I would recommend. You know, getting out those maxi dress, maxi dresses and wearing those simple, cute. You can throw on like a jean vest over it and then you got yourself an outfit. And I actually did invest in some maternity shorts because like I said, none of my other shorts fit or the f either like my butt was hanging out on the bottom or they were just cutting them in my stomach. So I did actually invest in some maternity shorts and these are actually super cute. Like you see, so this part goes up over your belly and then you got yourself some shorts. And then I actually have these ones which are much more comfortable and you can wear them as pajamas, I think, if you want. Same little thing. And this black part goes up over your belly. And one little tip, if you absolutely need maternity clothes because you don't fit in any of your clothes like I told you or you just don't want to wear your um, regular clothes, I would just recommend going to like a secondhand store. A lot of my maternity clothes I got at like Burlington, I got at um, a secondhand store called Buy. It's a secondhand store for like kids and baby stuff. And you know, ask friends if you have any friends that were pregnant. So don't waste your money buying, you know, motherhood and maternity like $60 maternity pants when you're probably not going to be wearing them for that long. So that's just my recommendation. So that's as far as it goes when it comes to clothes. Let's move on to some other things. So in the beginning of my pregnancy, I had a ton of nausea, like for the first four to five months. So I basically tried, hence tried, because I was so nauseous, to drink this wonderful peppermint tea. So they say peppermint tea is really good if you have any nausea. And I actually have some essential oils that is peppermint that I wish I knew before, but I have um, peppermint essential oils that I want to use during labor in case I start to feel nauseous that I could just roll it on wherever and hopefully that will help. So I would recommend investing and looking up, researching some natural herbal teas that can help you throughout your pregnancy. Another tea, since we're on this top topic of tea, is this organic raspberry leaf tea. Now again, I'm not a doctor, and I would recommend talking to your doctor about teas and herbs and all these kind of things if you want to use, but I started using the organic raspberry leaf tea at about 36 weeks pregnant, supposedly. This tea is supposed to help tone and tone your uterus, basically. My first labor went really crazy bad. Like, if you want to know about it, I have a labor and delivery story, and I'll post it in the description box, but it was not a fast, smooth labor. So I have been researching and doing, looking into so many things that will help me have a smoother labor. And supposedly this raspberry leaf tea is supposed to help do that. It's supposed to help tone the uterus, make it strong so that when you're having those contractions, they're stronger, more effective, and get the job done a lot faster. And it claims to help you have a painless labor, which we all know labor is probably not painless, but who knows? Hopefully it'll work. I'm basically drinking it all the time. I got some right here. Um, since I'm drinking about one to two glasses a day, and once I get a little bit further along, so 38, 39 weeks, then I'll start bumping that up. But I would just recommend Googling these teas and see you know, what works for you. At the beginning of my pregnancy, in the mornings, I literally could not get out of bed. 
besides go to the bathroom without feeling like I had to throw up. I basically like stocked up on saltine crackers, but the Trader Joe's kind, which I don't have anymore, but basically saltine crackers and they just live by my bed because one, I would wake up in the middle of the night and be hungry or make me mad because it's like you're sleeping and you don't want to get, you have already have to get up a million times to go pee and then on top of that you're hungry and you're not really hungry, it's just like the baby's hungry. So that really made me mad. So just having crackers by my side really did help. I also did try having bananas. They said bananas are supposed to help you with nausea. It didn't really help me with nausea at all. If anything, it kind of made it worse. And when I did vomit, it was not, it was not pleasant, we can say. Basically, crackers. So if you're pregnant or you're about to be pregnant or you're looking to get pregnant, I bet you've heard a million times, saltine crackers will help with nausea. And if you get hungry, you can just, you know, it's something easy that you can just snack on while you're half asleep. And another thing that I want to add onto the food is having snacks at all times because when you're pregnant, you're hungry all the time. All the time. So just having handy snacks like nuts, you know, high protein nuts, that's not high protein, but you know, that's what I had. But I also have like cliff bars, nuts, fruit, just anything that's, you know, easy and accessible so that you're not munching on those chips and bad snacks, all right? So, while being pregnant, I looked into this amazing company which is called Buff Boxes. So, it is a monthly subscription box. By the way, this is not sponsored at all. This is just something that I bought. I think I did it for four or five months um, on my pregnancy, but it's basically a monthly subscription box and it's about $39.99. I also have videos about that, a review, and if it's worth it, it I'll put that down in the, 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 the I'll put that down in the description box as well, so you can watch those videos. But it's basically a monthly subscription box, and I'll just show you quick here. And they just send you cute stuff like this, and yeah. So I came across this box, and I think if you're pregnant, that it's really amazing to get a gift every single month to remind you that you're gonna about to have a beautiful blessing coming to you soon. So it was something that I actually found on Facebook and I looked into getting it because why not? You know, it's $39 a month and you get like five to eight products in your box that is supposed to, you know, help you have a healthy natural pregnancy, which is why I really loved it. So if you're pregnant, I would highly recommend looking into bumpboxes.com and check it out and see if you like it. You can get like, there's different plans, all that kind of jazz. Watch my other video and I'll tell you all about it. But the reason why I put this in my pregnancy must-haves is because a lot of the products that they sent me, I actually am using. So when it came to being pregnant, I always break out. Like right now I'm not wearing any makeup and can't really see all my blemishes on camera. But when I'm pregnant, I always get acne like all the time right here. And it really is frustrating because it's like, you know, you're already changing so much physically and then you have this going on on your face. So I did find a couple products and have been using a couple things to help me with the breakouts. And I actually have some new things that I've started using this last couple months which have been working even better. But to start off with the box, they sent me this Bella Beauty Anti-Blemish Facial Wash and it is pretty natural and they have a lot of natural ingredients in there as you can see and they also sent me a scrub that you can use as well but I haven't used that because I used something else and I actually have a little exfoliator too which is in the bathroom and I forgot to bring but it's okay it's just a little sponge and you like a congiac sponge I think it is they actually sent that to me too and I use that with that but I've also been starting to use this black charcoal mask to help try to, you know, open up those pores and fix, you know, keep my skin looking nice and clear. I think I got a lot of skin issues because I work in the gym and then I'm sweating and I was wearing like makeup and I would wipe my face but maybe it wasn't wiping it good enough and you know, extra hormones from pregnancy and it was just like, so. I've been using those products and they have been helping me out a ton. Um, yeah, so when it comes to what I'm putting on my belly, I have been using a couple different things. So in the beginning of my pregnancy, I used rose hip oil and I used that until it ran out and then I got lazy from buying it on Amazon. So then I just got this at my local Trader Joe's and it is vitamin E oil. And if you look into a lot of 
like mommy tummy butters it had one of the main ingredients is vitamin oil so I you know just decided why not just get this like four dollar bottle from Trader Joe's and use it so every time after I take a shower or in the morning or if my stomach is feeling itchy I'll just rub that all over and it's good to go I also use coconut oil I use that all over my body and hair so basically it's just whatever I see in the moment but the vitamin E oil I'm using it every day and then the coconut oil kind of just when I need it um, but I have to say put this little disclaimer out there I did have I do have stretch marks from my first son you know because weight gain and just not taking care of my body and I don't know genetics so um, this time I haven't got any new stretch marks as far as I can see I can't really tell because I have some from last time but I don't see anything new like they're not discolored just like red or purple they're still white so I mean maybe it's been working but I have to say if you're pregnant or you're in the beginning stages don't stress out about stretch marks like there's nothing that you can do I mean there is a couple things you can try to do like hydrate yourself you know make sure you're not gaining excess amount of weight and things like that but stretch marks usually are hereditary so there's not a lot of things that you can do to prevent them but if you want to try try some vitamin E oil and keep yourself hydrated all right so when it comes down to medicine and things like that I did right now I'm using these just prenatal vitamins that my doctor prescribed to me because in the beginning the couple months of pregnancy I was using like the gummy organic ones and it just wasn't sitting well with my stomach because it had like sugar on it and you know being nauseous all the time it didn't work and since my insurance covers that I've just been using that so it's just basic prenatal some more vitamins that actually bump box sent me that I have been using is this healthy mama constipation relief and this healthy mama tame the flame heartburn relief I don't know if you can see that so I've been using those the constipation not too much just basically I've been starting it this last couple weeks because I heard if you start taking like a stool softener towards the end of your pregnancy once you have the baby and stuff it makes things move a little bit easier because I think when I was pregnant with my first son I had him by c-section but they still did prescribe me a stool softener but I just heard that if you start taking it before pregnancy I mean before you have your baby it'll help things you know work like they should but if you don't want to use any medicine use natural medicine and do what I did like the beginning of my pregnancy because I really don't get constipated I I think I'm you know doing pretty well and I would just highly recommend having a you know a high fiber whole natural diet things that'll back you up like a lot of breads or just processed food that's when you can get really constipated but I noticed with this pregnancy I didn't really get constipated or any of those issues because I I tend to eat a little bit healthier and vegetables and things that clean it all out so tip right there down to the heartburn I have not had really too much heartburn my stomach has been really low like I'm having all right so when it comes down to medicine and all those type of things that have been helping me throughout my pregnancy I have also been using or making my husband asking him to help me use this massage roller so I would recommend when you start getting the lower back pain or just you know you want a massage get yourself a nice massage roller bump box actually did send me like a foot massager which is kind of tickles my foot and my feet don't really hurt as much as my back does so invest in a massager another couple things that I use to help with aches and pains is a heating pad so I don't know should I roll this out I think you guys all know what a heating pad looks like but basically you just plug it in and then there's like high low medium on there and I would just whenever I would get really bad back pain or just you know not feeling well I would plug this in and put this on my back and it helps so much so recommend getting a heat pad another thing I'm not gonna pull out this huge um, pregnancy pillow because I did not buy one but I recommend getting pillows tons of them if you can so I did not invest in a pregnancy pillow just because I didn't think it was something that I would be using really afterwards and my son still co-sleeps with us sometimes so there's not really a lot of space in the bed for all of us so I just didn't want to spend that money so I would just recommend getting lots of pillows especially using a pillow in between your legs because it does help with that back pain and I know it works because with my first son I didn't use any pillows I don't know I just didn't know or research enough so I always had a lot of hip and back pain and now that I have 
researched, you know, and more products have been coming out on the market to help with that, I found out having a mountain of pillows around you works out great. All right, one other thing that I like to use to help me, especially in the third trimester, is one of these exercise balls. So I got this when I was about seven and a half, eight months pregnant because that's when a lot of my hip pain came, you know, the extra weight and just I'm back pain. So I've been using this exercise ball and you just basically sit on it when you're not feeling good and you can like move your hips side to side and circles and forward and back. And they say that especially in the last trimester, if you kind of like bounce on it, you kind of help the baby's head, you know, um, descend into the pelvic area and it's just, it helps your body in general. So that is one of my top pregnancy must-haves and I seriously, when I just not having a good day, my back is hurting, I just sit on this instead of the couch or a chair because chairs are not comfortable when you're pregnant, especially when you're nine months pregnant. So I would highly recommend getting one of these. I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered a lot of my favorites and things that I have been using throughout this pregnancy. If I did forget anything, I'll probably just put it in as a voiceover, but basically, I want you to have the most smooth pregnancy as possible as well as I want my own pregnancy to be as smooth as possible. So that's why I made this video to share with you things that have been working for me. These are things that I use and I'm still using and I hope that by watching this video you got a couple ideas of things that you can go out and purchase. There are, there are some things that I wish I would have purchased like a belly belt or you know a pregnancy pillow and just things like that but I just didn't feel like was that necessary like I really needed it and I didn't really want to invest in it but so don't think that by watching this video you need all these things no you don't you don't need to spend money on everything to have a successful and healthy pregnancy but these are just some of the things that I use and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video if you did enjoy watching this video please give it a like so I know that you're liking what I'm putting out for you guys I'm actually filming this trying to film a bunch of videos right now because who knows when baby Imani will be making her appearance and I want to be able to have you know stuff to give out to you guys while I'm healing so that is pretty much it look out for the next video it'll probably be a what's in my hospital bag video Yay! So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!